வணக்கம் புதுச்சேரி புதுச்சேரி த பிரெஞ்ச் ரிவியாரா ஆஃப் த ஈஸ்ட் ஹாஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் பின் ஃபாண்ட் ஆஃப் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் இன்க்ளூடிங் போத் இன்டோர் கேம்ஸ் அண்ட் அவுட் டோர் கேம்ஸ் லைக் ஃபுட்பால் ஹாக்கி டென்னிஸ் பேட்மிண்டன் ஸ்னூக்கர் செஸ் ஸ்விம்மிங் பாக்ஸிங் டைக்வாண்டோ போட்டிங் அண்ட் மெனி அதர் வெல் நோன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் saying so we welcome you to the fit india quiz puducherry edition presented by ministry of youth affairs and sports and ministry of education with fit india mission in celebration of azadi ka amrit mahotsav azadi ka amrit mahotsav is an initiative of the government of india to celebrate and commemorate 75 years of progressive india and the glorious history of its people culture and achievements Fit India Quiz is the biggest Indian quiz on sports and fitness like none other. The Fit India Quiz provides an opportunity to students and schools to win cash prizes of rupees 3.25 crores and be the champion at state and national level. In the preliminary round, 36,299 students from 13,502 schools participated in the mobile-based test conducted by National Testing Agency. Participation was from more than 626 districts across India. After the preliminary rounds, 360 schools will be participating in the state web rounds where they will be competing with the selected schools from their respective state or union territory to become state or union territory champion and represent their state or union territory in the national finals. Without any more delay, let's go to our virtual auditorium to meet our quiz master for today. வணக்கம் புதுச்சேரி வெல்கம் டு கிராண்ட் பினாலே ஆஃப் ஃபிட் இண்டியா குவஸ் புதுச்சேரி எடிஷன் யூ சீன் அன் ஆப்சல்யூட்லி என்ட்ராலிங் ரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் கிராண்ட் ஃபைனல்ஸ் விதவுட் எனி மோர் டிலே லெட்ஸ் கோ மீட் அவர் கிராண்ட் ஃபைனலிஸ்ட் ஃபார் த டே ஆல் டீம்ஸ் ஹவ் பின் வெரி இம்ப்ரெசிவ் அண்ட் ஒன் டீம் இஸ் கோயிங் டு கோ த்ரூ த நேஷனல் ஃபைனல்ஸ் த யூடி ஃபைனல் இஸ் மென் டு பி அ கிராண்ட் அஃபேர் ரைட் தெர் ஆர் ப்ரைஸஸ் இன் பிளேஸ் ஃபார் த டாப் த்ரீ ஸ்கோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ரவுண்ட் the second runner up will win a cash prize of 55000 rupees and the first runner up will win a cash prize of 1 lakh 10000 rupees and the winner of this round will win the cash prize of 2 lakh 75000 participants please remember that the top scorer of this round will also represent not just their school but also the ut at the national finals teams are you feeling confident Let's get started by welcoming our first team to today's quiz. We have St. Patrick Metric Higher Secondary School, Puducherry. Please give me your names. I'm Pranitha. I'm Lokeshwaran of 11th Standard. Wonderful. Welcome to the program, Pranitha and Lokeshwaran. Are you both into sports? Do you play any game? Yeah, I'm a skater and I have won in national levels. That's wonderful. We have a national level skater here. Welcome to the program. Do well. All the very best. Let's move on to the second team for the day. We have Stanford International Higher Secondary School from Puducherry. Please introduce yourselves. I am Prasanakshi of Grade 12. I am Jayashree from 9th Standard. Jayashree and Prasanakshi, welcome to Fit India Quiz Puducherry edition. Since this is about the world of sports, I need to ask you who is that one person in Indian sports who inspire you? My sports inspiration is MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni, Pommies. wonderful. How about you? Pommies, Smriti Mandana. Smriti Mandana, wow, wonderful choice. And as our third team today, we have Amalur Pavan Lutz Academy. Give me your names. Hello ma'am. I am Navina Priyan, I am studying in 9th standard and he is Ajish Priyan, studying in 8th standard. Welcome to the program Ajish and Navina Priyan. All the very best. Do you think you can win this quiz and qualify for the national finals? Yes. No. Wonderful, that's the confidence you need to be playing a quiz with. All the very best. Finishing the lineup is Javahar Navodhya Vidyalaya Puducherry. Can we have the introduction please? I'm I'm Balaji of class 12 and myself Niharika of class 11 Balaji and Niharika welcome to Fit India quiz Puducherry edition I need to ask you who is that one sports person who inspire you uh, mine will be PV Sindhu ma'am PV Sindhu wonderful and how about you uh, myself Nikhil Bolkar 
Sorry? Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. Wonderful. Are you both into sports as well? Ah, yes, ma'am. Yes. What game do you play? I'm a basketball player. And myself a badminton player. Wonderful. We have a uh, a team comprising of two sports persons here let's see if you have our upper hand in the quiz because of that we'll get started with today's quiz dear students we have a very special guest with a, with us who wants to wish you the very best for this round let's have a look hey guys my name is kc ganpati and i'm so excited to be part of india's biggest quiz on sports and fitness uh, come join me in wishing the fit in india state final parts means good luck I'm happy to know that four teams participated, and now the best four teams: uh, Saint Patrick Matriculation Higher Secondary School, Puducherry Stanford International Higher Secondary School, uh, Amal Lord Pavam Lords Academy, Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya Puducherry. Are now uh, going to compete in the state finals. Uh, do your best, teams, and make your state proud. Now it's time to. Invite our expert for the day. We have with us Mr. Kaushik Roy. He is our captain fit. Welcome to the program, sir. Yeah, thank you very much, and a very warm welcome to all the students of Pond Puducherry. And uh, I am your captain fit for today. So in case you need any assistance, you can any time get in touch with me. I'll try to help you out as much as possible. So all the best to all the teams. Good luck. So students. You've all made it to the grand final, the UT finals of Fit India quiz. That in itself is a great achievement. I'd like to start by congratulating all of you and wishing you all the very best for today's rounds. Before we move on to the first round, I would like to tell all the participants that besides Captain Fit, you have two more helplines. One being head or tail, which will make two incorrect options disappear, and the other one is toss the question, which you can use to completely change your question. You can use these lifelines during two specific rounds of this quiz. Let's kick off the grand finale. Here is round number one. This is something we call fitness ki dose. Let's have a look at the rules. Fitness ki dose. Questions on yoga, fitness, and nutrition. Clockwise round. Each team will get 15 seconds to answer a question after the quiz master has read it out. Direct questions to each team. No passing. Correct answer will fetch 10 points. No negative marking. Lifelines are available. If lifeline is used, correct answer will fetch 5 points. The quiz master's decision is final. So those were the rules for first round. Saint Patrick, since this is a clockwise round, we'll begin with you. Here is the very first question direct to you coming up on your screen now. Which of this is not a jump training exercise and your options are A box jump, B jump rope, C squat, D skip rope. And your time starts now. This option C squat. You're quickly going with option C you didn't waste any time there and you think the answer is C. Correct answer to this question. Yes, you are right. And what a wonderful start to today's quiz. That answer fetches you 10 points because squat is indeed the correct answer. It's a strength exercise that is used to strengthen your lower body and core muscles. Bang on. That's the correct answer. We'll move on to the second question direct to Stanford International. Here it is on your screen now. Dairy foods give maximum dash levels for bone strength. for the prevention of osteoporosis fill in the blank and your options are a sodium b potassium c zinc d calcium and your time starts now option d calcium you'll go with option d that is calcium was it so simple you didn't waste any time there that was a swift guess let's see if that's indeed the correct answer or not Yes that is the correct answer calcium was the answer we were looking for quite a setup we call in present so 10 points to you on that wonderful answer that brings us to the third direct question to lutz academy here is your question on your screen now in sanskrit chaturanga dandasana translates to four limb staff pose 
What is the other name of Chaturanga Dandasana? And your options are A. Wheel Pose B. Low Plank C. Chair Pose D. Cow Pose And your timer starts now. Think it's quite an easy question. Six seconds left on. Please repeat. And we are going to use lifeline. You're going to use a lifeline. What is that lifeline that you want to use? Black and fit. You're going to take the help of our today's expert, Captain Fit. Please come and help us out on this particular question. They need to know your opinion on this. Yeah. <clears throat> I would suggest you can go for option B, low plank. Team 3, are you going to go with our expert and take his opinion on this? Yes, ma'am. And your answer is? Yes, I think it's option B, ma'am, low plank. Option B, low plank is your pick. Whether it's the right answer or not, we will know in about a second. And the correct answer to this question is indeed low plank. Our expert was right, which fetches you five points since you used a lifeline on this. Brings us to the final question of today's round one. Jawhar Nodia Vidyalia, here is your direct question on your screen now. A common injury area, what name is given to a group of muscles and tendons that surround the shoulder joint, keeping the head of your upper arm bone firmly within shallow socket of the shoulder? And your options are trapezius, rotator cuff, levator scapulae, rhomboid. Your time starts now. If you have paid attention in your biology classes, this should be a sitter. What are we talking about? Eight seconds on the clock. Be mindful of the time. Captain Fit, Kaushik sir, we need your help one more time in this quiz. What do you think is the correct answer for this, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, I would suggest them to go for option B, rotator cuff. Team 4, you have heard what our expert had to say. Are you going to go with that or do you have a different guess? Okay, ma'am. We will go with Captain Pitt. And your answer is? Option B. You're going with option B, rotator cuff. Let's have a look at the correct answer. Whether it's the right answer or not, we'll know. This is indeed the correct answer. Rotator cuff was the answer we were looking for, which means scored five points on this particular question. That's the end of round one fitness key dose. Let's take a short break and then take a look at this course later. Fitness and sports quiz. Fit India quiz. Marine Pradhan Mantri Shri Narendra Modi ji ke vision. Fit India movement ke. द्वारा की गई इस पहल से जुड़ने का सभी देशवासियों से आह्वान करता हूं। फिट इंडिया क्विज में देश के कोने कोने से भाग लेने वाले सभी विद्यार्थियों का अभिनंदन करता हूं और आशा करता हूं कि आप सभी जी जान लगाकर एवं दिमाग से फिट इंडिया क्विज में भाग लेंगे और अपने विद्यालय परिजनों एवं राज्य का नाम रोशन करेंगे जय हिंद जय भारत After a short break to the grand final of Fit India Quiz Puducherry edition presented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Ministry of Education with Fit India mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mohotsav. Fit India Quiz is the biggest Indian quiz on sports and fitness. Now it's time to see where the teams stand on the scoreboard at the end of the first round. Here are the scores. Team 1, you're at 10 points. Team 2, you're also at 10 points. Team 3, you're at 5 points. Team 4, you're also at 5 points. Alright, without further delay, we should move on to the next leg of the event. This is round 2, something we call Champions of Champions. Let's have a look at the rules. Champion of Champions. Questions on sports and sports personalities. Buzz around. Correct answer will fetch 10 points. The question will not pass. Wrong answer will fetch minus 5 points. No additional lifelines for this round. The quiz masters 
decision is final. Teams, this is the buzzer round, so hands on the buzzer, be alert. The question's gonna pop up on your screen in about a second. Here is the very first question of buzzer round coming up now. Question number one. Identify this archer from Rajasthan who fell agonizingly short of bronze medal at the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 2012. Who is this sports person we are talking about? I do not see any attempts on the buzzer so far. It is very unfortunate it's only the first question. We'll move on to the answer. Here is the correct answer for this question. The answer is Limba Ram, a Rajasthani who did this feat. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 2012. Here is the second question on the buzzer coming up on your screen now. He is the first F1 racing driver from India. He was also the first Asian and the first Indian to win the Asian Formula 2019-96. Simply identify him. One of the teams has went for it in a flash. Team 4, what is your answer? Narain Kartikeyan. You have given me the answer, Narain Kartikeyan. Whether it's the right answer or not, we'll know in about a second. Here is the correct answer. That is indeed the correct answer. Congratulations on that wonderful answer. 10 points to you. That brings us to the next question on the buzzer. Question number three coming up now. He won a gold medal in 110 meters hurdles at the 1954 Manila Asian Games and is also known for discovering the talent of Pan Singh Tomar. Identify this athlete. I see no attempts on the buzzer so far. Teams, you need to be a little swift. If not, we'll have to move on to revealing the answer. No attempts from the teams, which means we are going to reveal the answer. The correct answer to this question is Sarvan Singh. No one got it right. We'll move on to the next question. Question 4 on your screen. The very first Indian to receive a test cap. This all-rounder's name remains immortal in the annals of Indian cricket by virtue of also being the first Indian to score a test 50. Who is he? Just name him. It's about 5 seconds and no attempts from any of the teams which means we will now reveal the answer to this question. Nobody attempted this. The answer to this question is Amar Singh. He's a cricketer you have to know about because it's an important name in Indian cricket history. Amar Singh. So with that, we have come to the end of this round. Let's take a short break before we reveal the scores of the second round. Fit rehna utna muskil kaam nahi hai जितना कुछ लोगों को लगता है फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज इस मंत्र में सभी का स्वास्थ्य सभी का सुख छिपा हुआ है फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज ब्रेक टू द ग्रैंड फाइनल ऑफ फिट इंडिया पुदुचेरी एडिशन प्रेजेंटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन विद फिट इंडिया मिशन इन सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव एंड आर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर कुडंट हैव सेड इट इन अ बेटर वे हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट फिटनेस इज इन आवर लाइफ्स Fitness ki dose, aadha ghanta rose. So here are the scores at the end of the second round. Team 1, you're at 10 points. Team 2, you're also at 10 points. Team 3, you're at 5 points. Team 4, you're currently leading the game with 15 points. Congratulations to all the teams. That brings us to the next round. This is something we call magic of sports. Let's have a look at the rules. Magic of sports. 
mixed bag audiovisual questions, anti-clockwise round. Each team will get 15 seconds to answer a question after the video is shown and the quiz master has read it out. Direct questions to each team. No passing. Correct answer will fetch 10 points. No negative marking. No additional lifelines for this round. The quiz master's decision is final. Yes, those were the rules for third round Magic of Sports. Jabhar Nodia Vidyalia, we'll start this round from you. Here is a video clipping. There is a question to follow. Identify the Swedish scorer of this 30-yard iconic bicycle kick against England. Your time starts now. Just name this player. Jafar Novodya, 8 seconds on the clock. And your answer is... Is there any lifeline? There are no lifelines. Okay, we have run out of time. We need the answer now. The correct answer for this question, the Swedish player is Latan Ibrahimovic, which you missed out, unfortunately. Brings us to the direct question for Lutz Academy coming up on your screen. Now, here is your video. And your question is, which former Olympic wrestler and WWE superstar is seen in this video winning gold at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics with a broken neck? Your time starts now. What is the correct answer for this question? 8 seconds on the clock. Hurry up. A legendary wrestler. Your answer is, you have run out of time. Sorry, I, you can't attempt this question now. Let's have a look at the correct answer for this question. The sports person is none other than Kurt Angle. Missed out by this team here. Which brings us to the next direct question to Stanford International. Here is your video. Team 2, here is your question. Identify this precocious teenager who opens for the national women's cricket team and scored a sparkling 96 on her debut for India against England last year. Just name her. Your time starts now. Stanford, 10 seconds on the clock, hurry up, a player who's been making a lot of news. And the end of time limit, sorry you cannot attend this question now. The correct answer to this question is, Shafali Sh Varma was the answer we were looking for, brings us to the final question of today's third round. And your question is, whose performance from the 1972 Munich Olympics in the uneven bars category of gymnastics is shown in this video? She was next named the Sparrow of Minsk before the Olympics. By the end of the Olympics, people were calling her the Darling of Munich. Who is this gymnast? Is your question. Your time starts now. An iconic athlete in the history of Olympics. Who is she? Three seconds. Missed by this team as well. Let's have a look at the correct answer. Here is the correct answer. Olga Corbett was the correct answer we were looking for, which you didn't guess. Brings us to the end of this round. Let's have a short break, then take a look at the scores.
the grand final of Fit India Puducherry edition presented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Ministry of Education with Fit India Mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Fit India Quiz is the biggest Indian quiz on sports and fitness. Now, before we move, move on to the next round, let's see the scores. Here are the scores. Team 1, you're at 10 points. Team 2, you're also at 10 points. Team 3, you're at 5 points. Team 4, you're at 15 points. We'll quickly move to the next leg of the event. This is round 4 and we call it Khele Ka Bharat To Khele Ga Bharat. Let's have a look at the rules. Khele Ga Bharat To Khele Ga Bharat. Questions on Khelo India, Fit India and traditional games. Clockwise round. Each team will get 15 seconds to answer a question after the quiz master has read it out. The question will not pass. Correct answer will fetch each team 10 points. No negative marking. Lifelines are available. If lifeline is used, correct answer will fetch 5 points. The quiz master's decision is final. Since you have understood the rules, we can begin this round. This is a clockwise round, which means we'll start with St. Patrick. Here is the very first question coming up on your screen now. All the participants in a sole tally up can race keep one of their legs on the blank. Your options are A. Water B. Ground C. Air D. Fire Your time starts now. Water You're gonna go with water which seems like an easy option, an easy guess but is it also the correct answer? Let's have a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is ground. Have you heard of this race? Do you know where it happens? This is very popular in the islands of Andaman and Nicobar Island. This is a tribal game that is indigenously developed in this region. So where they keep one leg on the ground. Unfortunately, missed out by this team. Brings us to the second question, direct to Stanford International. Here is your direct question. Question two. Who from Tamil Nadu won double gold medal? In 100 meter and 200 meter in under 21 in Kelo India Youth Games in 2019. And your options are Nitin Vishwanathan, B. Senthil Subramaniam, C. Balkumar Nitin, D. Shivram Kodiguru. Option A. Team 2, you're going with option A, Nitin Vishwanathan. Let's see if that's the correct answer. And option the correct A. answer to this question is. Correct answer is unfortunately C. Balakumar Nathan. He is the one who did this feat at this particular event and not option A. You do not score anything on this question. We'll move on to the next question. Direct to Lutz Academy. Here is your direct. Mentioned in Tamil Sangam literature, which traditional weapon based martial arts is said to have created by Sage Agastya? And your options are Tangta, Silambham, Mukhna, Kalari Paya 2. And the answer is option B, Silambham. You'll go with option B, Silambham. Of course, this is Puducherry. You're familiar with what you're talking about. Are you confident about your answer? Yes, ma'am. Let's have a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is also indeed Silambham. You know, a stick-based martial arts which was developed in the region of Tamil Nadu. This is indeed the correct answer. Congratulations on that wonderful, wonderful quizzing there. Well deserved 10 points brings us to the final question. This is going to be direct for Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya. Here is your question. Jatan Kumar Kanojia from Uttar Pradesh won gold medal in the boys under 17 all-around event. In which event? during the Kelo India Youth Games 2020. Your options are A. Gymnastics B. Judo C. Weightlifting D. Wrestling Your time starts now. We will use a lifeline now. Team 4, which is that lifeline that you want to use now? Ma'am, we'll use head or tail. You'll go with head or tail which will eliminate two of the options. Let's see what are the left out options. Your options are A. Gymnastics B. Judo. And your pick is? 
Five seconds. Judo. Judo man. Okay. In the nick of time, you have given me the answer. Judo. Let's see if that's also the correct answer. No, it's not the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is gymnastics. The term all around is directly associated with the sports of the discipline of gymnastics. We have come to the end of this round. Let's take a short break and then take a look at the scores. Healthy khana teen types ka hota hai. Go, grow and glow. Go foods hame taakat ya strength dete hain. Grow hame badhne ya tall hone mein madad karte hain. Aur glow foods hame bimari se ladne ki taakat dete hain. Ha! Go, grow and glow foods! Bahut achhe. To swasth rehne ke liye din mein hame apni thali mein go, grow and glow foods चेक करने चाहिए तो कौन से फूड्स गो कौन से ग्लो और कौन से ग्रो होते हैं गो फूड्स जैसे रोटी चावल ब्रेड और फैट्स हमें ताकत देते हैं दाल दूध अंडे मीट और मछली इन्हें हम ग्रो फूड्स कहते हैं फल और सब्जियां जिन्हें हम ग्लो फूड्स कहते हैं इनसे हमारे शरीर को आवश्यक विटामिन और मिनरल्स मिलते हैं मुझे विश्वास है अब तुम सबको पौष्टिक खाने के बारे में जानकारी हो गई है एक और बात का ध्यान रखो हम जब खाना खाएं, तो उसका आधा हिस्सा फल और सब्जियां होनी चाहिए याद रखना अगर हम सही और पौष्टिक खाएंगे तो हम हमेशा स्वस्थ रहेंगे हम गो ग्रो ग्रो करेंगे। break to the grand finale of Fit India Quest Puducherry edition presented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry of Education with Fit India Mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Fit India Quest is the biggest Indian quiz on sports and fitness now at the end of fourth round let's see where the team stand on the scoreboard team 1 you're at 10 points team 2 you're also at 10 points team 3 you're at 15 points joined by team 4 also at 15 points it's time to move on to the final leg of today's event that is something we call freestyle let's have a quick look at the rules freestyle sports mixed bag questions 12 questions on the buzzer correct answer will fetch each team 10 points minus 5 for wrong answer after buzzer no additional lifeline for this round quiz master's decision is final so those are the rules for freestyle do not worry the scoreboard may not look very competitive right now but this is the buzzer round and it can change a lot for you in this particular round because it's 120 points at stake we have 12 questions to go so buck up hands on the buzzer We begin the round. Here is the very first question on the buzzer. Question number one. In 1956, which woman became the first African American to win a Grand Slam title? Those were then called as the French Championships, something we call French Open right now in the Open era. So, who is this woman? I see no attempt on the buzzer so far. we are going to close that question there we'll have to reveal the answer the correct answer to this question is althea gibson she was not just a tennis player she was also a phenomenal professional golfer so she did this achievement is the correct answer we'll move on to the second question of this round second question on the buzzer is here what does s in dls as in lambert lewis blank method in cricket stand for team 3 has went for it team 3 the moment we say cricket you're all alive yeah tell me what is the correct answer for this lambert yes you need to be a little faster the answer is sister please repeat a little loudly this time the correct answer is system system duckworth lewis system SN uh, DLS stands for system is what you think 
Unfortunately, that's not the right answer. Let's have a look at the answer. The correct answer. There is a third person in this equation that is Stern, who sort of uh, formulates the method now after Duckworth and Lewis have uh, retired. So uh, since 2014, a third category was third uh, term was added to it, which is Stern. That is the correct answer. Unfortunately, that answer fetches you a negative five. We'll move on to the next question. Hands on the buzzer. Here is the next question. Question 3. Table tennis made its Olympic debut in which year? Fill in the blank. It is team 2 who has went for it in a flash. Team 2, what's your answer? Give me the year. From 1988. You're going with 1988. I request all the teams one more time. Once you attempt a question on the buzzer, your answer has to be really swift. Please don't pause. Okay, the correct answer to this question, let's have a look, is also 1988, which means you have scored 10 points on this question. Congratulations, Team 2. We'll move on to the fourth question of today's buzzer round. Here is the question. Question number four. In the world of basketball, how do we better know Ferdinand Lewis Alcinder Jr. We know him from a different name. What is that really popular name? A legendary name in the world of basketball. I see zero attempts on the buzzer so far. We'll soon be closing this question. Trust me, this is not a question you should pass. Unfortunately, nobody attempted on the buzzer. Let's have a look at the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is Karim Abdul Jabbar. He is a legendary basketballer. He has played 20 seasons of NBA. He's, he was a prodigy. At the age of 13, he had mastered a slam dunk. You know, this is a player you really, really need to know about. All right, we'll move on to the next question in the buzzer. Here is question number five. Uh, the Rangrado First of May Stadium in Pyongyang is the second largest stadium in the world by seating capacity only after India's Narendra Modi Stadium. In which country is it located is the question. Team 3, you have went for it on the buzzer. What is your attempt? The answer is North Korea. You're going to go with North Korea. Was it that easy? You've heard the city's name earlier. You know about the stadium? Let's see if that confidence pays off or not. Let's have a look at the correct answer. That is indeed the correct answer. North Korea was the answer we were looking for. Congratulations, a well-deserved 10 points on that question brings us to the next question in buzzer round on your screen now. Question number six. At which venue in the state of Victoria is the Boxing Day Test Match played in Australia? Team three, again, this team is on fire. What is your answer? Melbourne Cricket Ground. Okay, the moment we say Australia, you're gonna not going to waste much time on it. You're going to go with MCG. Melbourne Cricket Ground. This seems like an obvious option, but is it the correct option? Let's see what is the correct answer. The correct answer is indeed Melbourne Cricket Ground. Congratulations, plus 10 on that. I told you anything can happen at the end of the buzzer round. The other three teams, you really need to buck up and give competition to this team here. Here is the next question on the buzzer coming up on your screen now. Uh, Dhopkil played during the Rangoli Bihu is one of the most popular games in which state? In which Indian state? Team 3 went for it one more time. What's your attempt? Assam. You're gonna go with Assam. Let's have a look at the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is indeed Assam which means a plus 10 on that. We are gonna move on to the next question. Here is question number 8 coming up on your screen now. The Calypso singer Lord Relator composed a song on India's win in the West Indies in, the in 1971 that soon became iconic. The line, we couldn't out blank at all, became famous summing up how India had conquered the West Indies. Which legendary Indian batsman was he talking about? in this particular ballad in the song. A legendary Indian cricketer from that era, 
should be an easy question. Still no attempt on the buzzer. Very unfortunate. We're going to close this question. Here is the correct answer to this question. Trust me, this is not the kind of question you should pass. This is Sunil Gavaskar. That was the answer we were looking for. Missed out, unfortunately, by each and every team here. No problem. We'll move on to the next question. Here is question number nine coming up on your screen now. Which Esther Yaw spinner was the first person of Indian origin to play test cricket for the West Indies? Just name him. He's right there on screen. Attempts on the buzzer, please. We are going to close this question in about three seconds. No attempt on the buzzer. So we'll reveal the answer to this question. The correct answer for this question is Sunny Ramadhan was the answer we were looking for. Which means we have only three more questions to go. The final three questions of today's quiz. Puducherry edition of Fit India quiz. The last three questions to go. Buck up. These three questions can change the results. You never know. All right. Are you all ready? Hands on the buzzer. Here is the 10th question on buzzer. Find the connection. Vinicius, Athena, Favos, Suhurang. Team 3 went for it one more time. What's your attempt? And the answer is they are all Olympic mascots. Can you be a little more specific? And the answer is they are all Olympic mascots. I heard that. I am asking to you to be a little more specific about your answer. You said just Olympics. Can you specify? And Olympic mascot. I heard that. All and right. Uh, let. Yes. The last five years Olympic mascots. Repeat that, please. The last five years Olympic mascot. Okay. Let's have a quick look at the answer. Okay, these are the names of the Summer Olympic mascots which you got, right? I was just asking you to specify the tournament which event, not just Olympic, these were the Summer Olympic mascots because there is Paralympics, there is Winter Olympics. That's why I wanted you to be specific. Do not worry, you've scored on this question, you've scored 10 points on this because Olympic mascots was the keywords we were looking for. Correct answer, congratulations. Brings us to the penultimate question of today's quiz. Here is question number 11. What name is given to the device used in track and field by sprint athletes to brace their feet against at the start of a race so they do not slip as they stride forward at the sound of the pistol? What is it called? You see a small equipment that they use. What is it called? I do not see any attempt on the buzzer. If you really know the answer, you need to be a little more swift. No attempts on the buzzer. I am going to assume that nobody knows the correct answer to this question. We'll reveal the answer now. See, sometimes it can, it is as simple as it can get. It's simply called a starting block. As simple as that. Missed out by all the teams here. Brings us to the last question of Fit India Quiz Puducherry edition. Here it is. Her journey as a child who could not afford a hockey stick to becoming the youngest player in the national women's hockey team to participate in the 2010 World Cup is nothing short of inspirational. She is the current captain of Indian women's hockey team. Simply name her. Team 1 went for it in a flash. What is your answer? Rani Rampal. We are going to go with Rani Rampal. We said the current hockey team captain, women's team captain and your answer is Rani Rampal. Let's see. That is indeed the correct answer. This is Rani Rampal, the current Indian women hockey team captain. Quite an inspirational journey. A person worth reading about, knowing more about. So that brings us to the end of today's quiz. All of you have performed wonderfully. Uh, let's take a short break and then take a look at the final score sheet. Life la challenges yenga venalo yepo venalo varala adha face panna thayara irundha adha dhairyama edirgollala apdi senja nama muyarchigal innum sirappa irukum nama seiya vendiyadella konja kattupaado konja ulaippo nama evlo fitta irukonu therinjike 
presenting Fit India Mobile App உங்க ஃபிட்னஸ் கைடு மற்றும் பர்சனல் ஹெல்த் ட்ரைனர் முதல் முறையாக இப்போ பாரதத்தின் ஒவ்வொரு குடிமகனும் தன்னுடைய ஃபிட்னஸ் ஸ்கோரை தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டு அவங்க எவ்வளவு ஃபிட்னஸா இருக்காங்கன்னு தெரிஞ்சுக்க முடியும் நீங்க உங்க வயசுக்கு தகுந்தபடி உங்க ஃபிட்னஸ் ஸ்கோரை தேட முடியும் இந்த வசதி உங்களுக்காகவே முதல் முறையா துவங்கப்பட்டிருக்கு இந்த ஆப் உங்க ஃபிட்னஸ் ரொட்டீனை ட்ராக் செய்து எல்லா டேட்டாவையும் ஸ்டோர் செய்கிறது இதனால நீங்க உங்க ப்ரோக்ரஸ் காண முடியும் மேலும் ஃபிட்டாக இருக்கும் புதிய மற்றும் சுலபமான தீர்வை பெற முடியும் இந்த ஆப் மூலமா நீங்க ஆகலாம் ஃபிட்னஸ் மாஸ்டர் அதுக்கு பிறகு நாங்க உங்க ஃபிட்னஸ் ரொட்டீனை தயாரிக்க உங்களுக்கு உதவுவோம் ஃபிட்னஸ் உலகத்துல காலடிய வைங்க மோட்டிவேட்டடா இருங்க மற்றும் அப்டேட்டா இருங்க எல்லாத்தையும் விட நல்ல விஷயம் என்னன்னா இந்த எல்லா வசதியோட நன்மையையும் நீங்க பெற முடியும் மற்றும் ஃப்ரீயா உங்க ஆண்ட்ராய்டு இல்ல ஆப்பிள் டிவைஸ்ல எங்க ஆப்போட ஹிந்தி இங்கிலீஷ் வெர்ஷன டவுன்லோட் பண்ணுங்க அப்புறம் துவங்குங்க நீங்க ஃபிட்டா இருக்கணும்ன்ற கனவ இதோ ஒரு கிளிக் தூரத்துல We are back after the break to the grand final of Fit India Quiz Puducherry edition presented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Ministry of Education with Fit India Mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Let me just remind you that you too can download the Fit India mobile app from Play Store or App Store and be fit every minute every day. Before we move on to see the final scores, we would like to tell you all that The entire duty of Puducherry is very proud of you. Here is the most awaited bit of today's quiz. It's time to see where the team stand on the final scoreboard. Teams, here are your scores. Team 1, you're at 20 points. Team 2, you're at 20 points. Team 3, you've won today's quiz at 50 points. Team 4, you're standing at 15 points. So we have a tie. Uh, we'll be deciding the tie with a tiebreaker. Let's have a quick look at how this round goes or how the tiebreaker works. Tiebreaker. Each question on the buzzer. First team to buzz and answer correctly wins the tie. If the team buzzes and answers incorrectly, the other team wins the tie. Quiz master's decision is final. Those are the rules for tiebreaker round. Be extremely careful with your answer because a small mistake on your end can actually make the other team win. Are you all ready? Team 1 and Team 2, we decide the tie between you. Here is the first question on the buzzer, hands on the buzzer. Question is here. How many consecutive gold medals in the Olympics did India win in hockey? Team 2, seems like that was quite an easy question for you. What is your answer? I'm 6. Consecutive. You're going with 6. You're telling me that India has won six consecutive gold medals. Can we please have a look at the answer? Team 2, you are the first runner up for today's quiz because that is indeed the correct answer. India has won six consecutive gold medals and hockey is the correct answer. We'll quickly move on to the final segment of today's quiz that is the presentation ceremony. Team number 1 St. Patrick Metric Higher Secondary School Puducherry you're the second runner up for today's quiz which means you're taking home a cash prize of 5000 rupees and the school will get a cash prize of 50000 rupees congratulations sai pranita and lokeshwaran Team number 2 Stanford International Higher Secondary School Puducherry you're the first runner up in today's quiz Jayashree and Prasannakshi you're taking home a cash prize of 10000 rupees and the school will get a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees congratulations and the winner for the Puducherry edition of Fit India quiz is none other than Amalur Pavum Lutz Academy we have Ajish Priyan and Navina Priyan representing the school you're going to take home a cash prize of 25000 rupees while the school will get get a cash prize of 250000 rupees congratulations on making it to the national finals of Fit India quiz Team Lutz Academy don't forget there will be an element of live fitness round in the national finals 
and it will be aired on Star Sports and Hotstar. So along with training your grey matter, you'll also need to train your body and be fit for the final round of Fit India Quiz. With this, we are at the close of the grand final of Fit India Quiz Puducherry edition. A big thank you to the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and Ministry of Education for giving all of us and especially the children of India the opportunity to be on a platform like this. This is me, Meghavi Manchunath, signing off and don't forget the magical mantra, Fitness Kidos Adha Ganta Rose.